So first of all, thank you very much uh, to the organi organizers to have uh, invited me to, to speak on this uh, very interesting occasion. Uh, one caution about my speech, uh, since uh, in 20 minutes we cannot say everything we would like to say, uh, my uh, presentation will be a little bit uh, rough. As everybody knows, the Chinese amb ambitions in the South China Sea are based on the nine, not only the nine dashed line, nine tesh, ten, ten dashed line. Uh, if we take uh, uh, the, this and there, the nine dashed line, uh, generally admitted that it dates back to, the nine, to 1947, even if some scholars have uh, found that uh, we can find uh, the first presentation of this line around uh, the 1930, 1936. So I'm waiting for some uh, more uh, details about that if it's possible. But the first, you know, the, 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 the point is uh, everybody or a lot of people say because it has been printed by official governmental uh, printing uh, offices, this 1947 dashed line is an official line. It's not because it has not been accompanied by any official claim with uh, this official claim accompanying a map such as this one. So we had to wait until the, ninth, the 7th of May 2009 to have the first genuine Chinese official claim about this nine dashed line. So after the uh, signing of the United Nations uh, Convention on the Law of the Sea, that is an important point. This uh, <coughs> uh, reaction from the Chinese has been generated by these uh, claims uh, in uh, 2009. First, uh, a common claim between uh, China and uh, uh, between Vietnam and Malaysia in the southern part of uh, the South China Sea, and the Vietnamese uh, um, claim of Da Nang in the northwest uh, uh, part of the South China Sea. As you, you can see on this uh, map, uh, a very uh, small line which uh, defines the limits of the 200 nautical miles of uh, each of the uh, riparian uh, states, coastal uh, states. That's very important. That is what is remaining as high sea. Later, on the 11th of January 2013, the Chinese published this new 10 dash, 10 dash line with the 10th ten, the dash on the, uh, on the east side of uh, uh, Taiwan. The nine first dashes were not changed. The Philippines noticed that the 10 dashed line is designed as Chinese national boundaries. That is very important. That would mean that all that is inside this uh, buffalo tongue, uh, uh, tongue as the, the Southeast Asian uh, nation uh, uh, say, uh, that means that uh, it could be considered by the Chinese as, as a territorial sea with all the consequences that can uh, um, <coughs> be drawn from there. But for the moment being, no official value for the moment being, uh, this claim has not been accompanied by any official declaration. It's the same when the Chinese published uh, this uh, vertical map, completely uh, uh, full, on the 26th of 2000, uh, 2014. There, the South China Sea is, uh, clearly appears as a Chinese territorial sea, and uh, according to uh, an American study at, at a high level, the design, they studied the, 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 these representations, this uh, drawing, colors, thickness, and uh, R of the dots are exactly the same ones as on the, la the land border ones. So for the moment being, such scientists, politicians, uh, strategists continue wondering what is the real meaning of this 910 dash line because the Chinese never delivered the coordinates of the uh, 10 dashed lines. But to continue, in my mind, I, this involved only myself. 
to continue wondering what the nine dashes mean is, in my mind, a huge strategic mistake. Because the nine dashed line, want it or not, is genuinely there. Without or with or without coordinates, we don't care. It is there. We cannot avoid this consideration. That clearly shows the Chinese ambitions. And the Chinese, if we don't know what are the genuine coordinates of, of that, the Chinese do know where they are. And I took the example of China National Oil Offshore Company, who uh, sent a call for meeting in, uh, on the 23rd of June 2012 for uh, oil foreign companies to enter into product sharing agreement on nine blocks that I write on the Vietnamese EEZ, EEZ. And if you consider where are the blocks, they are right on the limit of the nine dash line, nine, 10 dash line. So our outsider's attitude, because I am an outsider, it's just like the horse which doesn't want to jump over the obstacle. To justify the 910 dash line, China uses a specious artifice based on a distorted interpretation of the end clause. Sorry, I have not enough time to explain that in details. But that, uh, uh, according to that, to that, China may lean on the islands, rocks, and even submarine elevations. And departing from that may lean on the waters that these features are generated, generating to demonstrate that the 910 dash line is the line which equitably shares the sea between its alleged mar maritime territory and the other, uh, other riparians ones. Everybody believes that the dispute in the South China Sea Paracels between Vietnam and China. Uh, Macclesfield Bank, Truro Shoal, submarine elevations, both of them uh, China by China alone. Scarborough Reef between China and uh, uh, the Philippines. Uh, this three group of uh, uh, submarine elevations and uh, 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 reefs are gathered into one, into one concept clearly uh, described by Professor Zhongsha, uh, by Professor Zhou Keiyuan, and it is called Zhongsha Chintao. No time to explain that, but if you, we can go there uh, on this question a little bit later if you want. Spread place between Vietnam, China, Philippines, Malaysia, and Brunei. Philippines, four-fifths of the northern part, uh, the, the, the northern part of the spread place, four-fifths four of the spread place called Kalayan, vs. China, Vietnam, and Malaysia. Malaysia on the south, vs. China, Vietnam, and Philippines. Brunei on Louisa Reef, vs. China and Vietnam. Indonesia, contrarily to a lot of people believe, is not a stakeholder in the territorial dispute, but there is a problem because the nine dashed line is crossing over the Indonesian EZ. The problem is there. James Scholl, and Luconia Shoal, uh, which are uh, under uh, submarine elevation, an exception for Luconia Shoal that I dis discovered recently, that, they, that uh, could uh, draw one problem uh, in, a, in a short uh, time uh, soon. So everybody believes that the, the territorial dispute is in the South, South China Sea are because of what? the existence of polymetallic nodules in the bottom of the sea. And as you can see on the, the map, uh, the, 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 the part which is enclosed inside the uh, red uh, line is, uh, uh, um, is, is fit with uh, uh, the, uh, the high sea. <coughs> the Chinese, for the moment being, with that, have the possibility not to collect the nodules, but at least to explore the depths. So if the inter international community remains silent over the, the, the claims of China of the, on the, almost the whole South China Sea, China will confiscate what is remaining of high sea, and that is completely contrary to the preamble and the articles related to the high sea of the UNCLOS. 
One uh, uh, problem could be uh, a reason of, for the, uh, the fishery res resources could be a problem for the uh, Chinese claims uh, there. As you can see on the, uh, the, the sketch here, the Chinese uh, uh, printed, the, published this, uh, this uh, figure, this polygon, on the 1st of uh, uh, January 2014, and uh, uh, they declared that, uh, uh, <coughs> departing from this date, all foreign fishers, including from Southeast Asia, must first request the authorization from China to have the right to fish there. So that could be a good reason. That's not. That's only one stake. The other one could be the hydrocarbon resources. That could be a good reason. So these are the main hydrocarbon deposits, which are all scattered all along the uh, metamorphologic, metamorphologic uh, continental shelf, shelf around the South China Sea. That could be a good reason, because the 910 dash line is crossing all uh, of these uh, deposits, all in the other Southeast Asian states, EEZ. But that's not, uh, that's not the main reason. That's only one, one stake. That could be the navigation and the safety and security. So I don't enter into the detail of, of that. But as you can see, 80% of the Chinese hydrocarbon procurement are crossing this uh, South China Sea. This is a PRC vulnerab vulnerability, as well as Japan and South Korea. So we can consider that the Chinese would be very happy to be alone to exert the security operations over that uh, area. But that's not the main reason. The main reason is this one. The Chinese wants to be able to deploy it there for SSBNs from Sanya Harbor up to the depths of the South China Sea and of the Pacific Ocean in the best conditions of security. You are going to tell me in 1947, until uh, uh, a recent uh, date, the SSBNs didn't exist. But since now the SSBNs exist, that reinforce the pretension of the, the Chinese over that uh, sea. The problem is for these SSBNs to escape an hostile air observation to limit the risks of submarine spotting. And you can see the area of vulnerab vulnerability for these submarines. Because the four SSBNs gene types they have presently are still indiscrete, easily spotable. So this is the main reason for what China wants to empty the South China Sea of any foreign naval presence. China wants to sanctuarize the South China Sea. And we come here to mis what uh, Mr. Fels uh, uh, to told this morning about the possibility of the application of uh, the uh, Dong Chuo, um, uh, Monroe Doctrine by the Chinese on the South China Sea. But, but trying to empty the sea of any foreign naval presence, presumed of steel, is not uh, enough. <clears throat> it's necessary to prevent the U.S. and its allies to enter that sea. And there, Mr. Fels, we joined all together. How China feels threatened by the USA, by the containment of the USA. Reinforcement of the American presence in Japan and South Korea. USA maintaining the military support to Taiwan. U.S. and Philippine mutual defense agreements reinforced by the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement signed in 2015 and declared in conformity with the Philippine uh, Constitution recently by the Supreme Court in uh, 2016. Activation of the military cooperation with Vietnam, important op political openings towards India and Burma. So the <clears throat> In this condition, China is compelled to reinforce uh, the defense of its approaches. The South China Sea is not enough to ensure the Chinese overall strategic security disposition facing the presumed US threat. That was why Admiral Liu Huaqing in 1974, uh, Admiral Liu, Liu Huaqing is the reformer of the Chinese Navy 
he wanted to change the Chinese Navy from a coastal Navy to a high sea uh, uh, Navy. So in 1974, he defined two lines of forward defense. One green line of immediate defense resting on the Ryukyu archipelagos, Taiwan, and the Southeast Asian uh, nations. A blue line, which, as you can see, is resting on the Mariana uh, 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 chain. For that, China intend to implement the A A2 AD doctrine with specific means. These are seven uh, nuclear submarines attack and 48 uh, classical uh, submarines, which can be uh, committed in, in a saturation against uh, the presumed enemy. The development uh, a program of development of aircraft carriers. Planned, the planned program is for five carriers. The Chinese deny this, this that, but for the moment being, we have a second uh, um, uh, aircraft carriers uh, under construction in Shanghai. You have, you have here the figures, the, the pictures, of the evolution of the Variag, which has become uh, the Liaoning. They have also the development of the ballistic anti-ship anti missile DF-21D. The range of them is 2,700 uh, kilometers, sorry. If we take uh, this uh, hypothesis of uh, firing from the coast, we can see they can reach uh, normally if it works really. <coughs> some targets inside which have overcrossed uh, this uh, red line. And if you see, uh, if you compare, you can see that this red, red line fit almost with the blue line as defined by General Admiral Liu Huaqing. The principle of uh, work of this uh, is a target designation through the satellite constellation Tianping Yaokan, and uh, once the heads are uh, on uh, their descent uh, phase. The terminal guidance is by an overhead and over the horizon targeting system. This is a sketch of uh, uh, bombs arriving on the, an aircraft carrier and the, sh the, the planes which, could not, could, which cannot uh, reach the decks anymore. But A2 AD has uh, uh, strategy has limits. It is only offen uh, defensive, and it may be uh, op sorry, opposed by the U.S. with the implementation of the earthy battle concept. I don't enter into the detail. We have no time enough. On the Chinese side, A2 AD is not enough to reach the strategic goals aimed at the in the Pacific Ocean. First, the global naval expansion, but most of uh, Above all, the being to be able to uh, being to be able uh, to uh, threat even reach corners with uh, missiles. If the present uh, Jilang Du to uh, the the range is for the moment being 8,000 kilometers, the first public appearance uh, occurred on May 2009 with uh, six pictures provided by CCTV. So if the, this missile is uh, sorry is fired from the south china sea it can only reach the northern part of the hawaii archipelago that's the reason why the Ch the jins the chinese uh, submarine jins must be able to exit the south china sea but in this case they are uh, prisoners of uh, crossing the uh, <coughs> the Bashi Channel, which, which is situated uh, in the south of Taiwan and in the north of the Philippine island of uh, Luzon. So the dream for the Chinese is to blow up the Taiwanese bolt, because the Taiwanese bolt, as you can see, is uh, uh, locking the UQ archipelagos and the Southeast Asian countries archipelagos. Like this, blowing up the Taiwanese bolt would provide the PLAN with the waters 
entirely Chinese, so as to sail freely either by the south of Taiwan for the SSBNs. That explains why the Chinese, the, the Chinese maneuvers of sanctuarization of the South China Sea or by the north, and that explains the settlement of an ADIZ, Air Defense and IDF Identification Zone, in the uh, uh, East, uh, East China Sea. The hardening of the dispute over, over the Senkaku Islands and even the simmering of the Chinese claims over the Ryukyu. That would, uh, blowing up the, 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 uh, the Taiwanese bolt, would allow the Xin submarines to try to position themselves close to the third line of defense presently under consideration, and we can consider it as forward defense, from where some towns of Western America could be reached that would compel the US to try to forbid the approach of this line. The scheme will be different when the next generation of SSBNs and Zulong three missiles with three possible, possible versions will be operational. To conclude, China, for me, and I join also Mr. Feltz about this. Chinese irredentism in South China Sea has totally, essentially become bound to a standoff with the USA. Today, China is not, is not really, are not really the winners, but strong troublemakers because of their inopportune activities in the South China Sea, reclamation of eight features in the Spratleys, armament of the Paracels with anti-aircraft missiles, cruise missiles, and so on, Reclamation project, we have to, to, to pay attention to that. Reclamation po project over Scarborough Reef, as in the Spratlays. And that brings the uh, intensification of the UN's naval presence, of the US military relations and cooperation with the South China, South East Asian nations, Singapore, traditional, but also Philippines and Vietnam, and of the interest of Japan, India, Australia, and even South, China, uh, uh, South Korea for that seat. Thank you very much for listening to me. You